Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today is Monday, July the 6th, and it's 2.40 p.m. Uh, I've got a, there's a word from the Lord here in a letter from Don that's from their pastor that heads up the missionary, I believe. His name is Pastor Randy Brodigan, Brodigan. Glory to God Ministries. I think that's right. Anyway, this is kind of long, and as with any words, dreams, or visions, you should take them to the Lord for your own confirmation, if you have any doubt about them being from the Lord. Okay, it's called, Trust Me, I Am True, and it was um, given June 27, 2020. For I say to you this day, I am true who I am, and I do what I do, and I say what I say, and in this day you will know that I am true, saith the Lord, and there is nothing in me that is not true. I am the truth, the way, and the life, saith the Lord. And whoever calls to me, I will answer. I will show great and mighty things to you and things you do not even know about or understand or care about. But they are important to me. They will be important to you. Draw near, draw near, draw near. And receive all that I have intended for you. Put your trust in me. Don't lean to your own understanding. Acknowledge me in all your ways and I will direct the path, saith the Lord. And I put you in the spacious place. You are not all cramped up and bound up anymore. For whoever calls upon my name, I have set them free in Jesus' name to receive all that I have intended for them. But first, you must know me, and second, you must know that I am a rewarder of those who diligently seek me. So seek me with all your heart, saith the Lord, and I am near to be found. In fact, I am right there. But when you look to other sources and other places and other circumstances and other situations, you can't find me. You can't see me because you are looking at everything else and not me. I'm right there. I'm right there. Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and I will help you. And because you have set your love upon me, I'll rescue you. I'll help you. I'll do amazing things on your behalf. And you should never lack for any good thing as you honor me first and foremost in your life. For I am your source, saith the Lord. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can't say that enough. Children, you can't say that enough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For when you thank me and praise me and honor, I'm sorry, when you thank me and praise me, honor comes to my name as you do what I say. And my glory will rest upon you and in you 
and you will be encouraged into every good work. For in me you live and move and have your being. That is what life is all about, not in anything else, but in me, saith the Lord. Stir up the gift of God within you. Let it rise. Let my spirit rise within you and watch what I am going to do for my glory. For it won't be you doing it, it will be me doing it. In you and through you. In you and through you. In you and through you. So enjoy your life. Enjoy what I have provided. What I have given. And receive my provision. And again, be not afraid. And be not discouraged. For I, the Lord your God, go ahead of you preparing the way. Don't be afraid and don't be discouraged. Be very strong and very courageous in this day and in this hour. For this is the day and the hour that I am going to show myself mighty in the earth, saith the Lord. I will be honored, I will be glorified, and those who don't honor me and don't glorify me, and there will be many of them, they will be the ones who have nothing, who lack, who are always going to be stirring up trouble because they don't have any peace within them. I want them to have peace. I have given myself for them that they might have peace. But they don't want me. They don't love me. They don't love my appearing. But as for you, you love my appearing. And you wait patiently for me. For I am coming. And I am coming soon. I am on the way, the coming, it's in the plan, and I will fulfill the plan, saith the Lord. Just watch what is going on all around you. The signs of the times are happening. Don't be afraid, but rather rejoice and be ready. For when I come, for when I come as a thief in the night. Wait a minute. I think I added a word. Don't be afraid, but rather rejoice and be ready for when I come. For I will come as a thief in the night. So don't be distracted by the world and its ways. Don't be distracted by your own lusts. And desires in these days for these are perilous times and there are many things that are trying to take you away from me and get your eyes off of me and on to other things boy howdy that's the truth there's just so many things that come at me personally it seems like it's it's this, or it's that, or it's something else trying to get me distracted from doing what I'm called to do. Okay, don't look to those ways and things, for I have better things for you. Look to me. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and I will keep you in perfect peace. Perfect peace. Be led by my peace. Be led by my spirit. For I am here. I am with you. Don't ever be afraid. Do not get discouraged. Just be patient. Patient. Patience. And in parentheses, it's got laughter. And thank you, Lord. 
That must have been Pastor Randy laughing, or was Jesus laughing? And he said, thank you, Lord. I don't understand what he means by patient, patience. And I don't mean I-E-N-C-E. -E. It's patient, like be patient, spelled exactly the same way with an S on the end of it. Unless he meant patience. And it got typed up as T-I-E-N-T-S. I, I, I wasn't really sure about that part. <laughs> patient, patience. It's probably I-E-N-C-E, -E, to be honest. It probably should have been written out and typed up that way. But at any way, that's the end of it. Um, just do not get discouraged. Just be patient, okay? And that's by Pastor Randy Brodigan, Glory to God Ministries. I pray that that blessed you this day and that it will help to encourage you that there is a plan and God has set the date in stone and I don't believe for a minute there's been a delay. I don't think so. If, if there was, it was... We were led to believe it was one day and then that there was a delay. Oh, because people read the parable of the ten virgins and they say there was a delay so they all fell asleep which is why half of them ran out of oil. Well, that's why we have to stay ready at all times. Always asking the Lord to fill us anew with his Holy Spirit because that's what that oil represents. We can't be lazy about that. And I'm guilty of it too, of getting tired and not wanting to pray as long. And it just takes energy. But I, I make myself, I try to make myself Say, Lord, Holy Spirit, fill me anew. And then I'll start praying in the Spirit more. So see, you could try that too. Even if you've been filled already, ask Him to fill you anew. Keep your lamps full. Okay? Don't let us be found lacking. All right. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection myself my computer which by the way the <laughs> didn't want to work when I started this the camera didn't what wasn't working and I pleaded the blood over it and, and over my computer and the motherboard and it started working so I don't think Satan wanted this message to go out it's never done that before and it's not that old this computer is only going on its third year going it's it's turning two years old <laughs> at the end of this month I think yeah because then I have to pay the, the annual thing I buy for security okay so I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you as well and your devices and your internet connections. And with that I will say bye for now. I'll talk to you later and I hope it's in person.